black clouds, son of white water and broken wood, sat proudly astride a chestnut-coloured stallion. He viewed the dense green forest that spread far and wide in the valley below, the snaking river that dissected it with a certainty. Sometimes things just don't work out the way you'd like them to, he said to himself and trotted forward toward a descent that was sure to bring fresh adventure. He'd hoped to find another white man's settlement and another source of the white man's fire water he loved so much. Driven by his own selfish desires, behind him a trail of death and destruction, broken hearts, tear-stained cheeks. He knew, he was aware, but fueled by his desire for a different feeling, his conscience was overwhelmed like the immediate sting of the fire water on the back of his throat. The crosshairs of the rifleman's scope rested on Black Cloud's shape, following him, winding his way down a mountain goat trail. The rifleman, Dean Bradley, regulated his breathing to match his calm confidence, so often repeated before taking a shot to kill. Black Cloud's self-destructive outpouring had always damaged others. In every white man's settlement, Black Cloud, long since outcast from his own tribe, now there was a price on his head, dead or alive, and the finger lay firmly on the trigger. Dean licked his lips. What goes around comes around, he thought. <laughs>